What I need is a log. I need to pick up that log and I need to put it next to my workbench in the middle of the room and then I can just go in circles around it when I'm under attack. Is this the one that was eaten by... No. I thought maybe it was the one that got... that hit the trap. It might have been. Maybe somebody took the meat. Or maybe it just rotted. Yeah, I was like, that's probably a safe one, actually. Give me one of those bottles I can use to hurt things. Part of me is ready to just use all my alcohol on Molotovs or something, just so I can immediately, uh... You have the bottles ready for broken glass purposes. Wow, a handgun frame. It's a bit of a step up. Whoa. I'm sorry, there's how many dogs? Barn ruins. I didn't even realize I didn't realize how far I'd gone. Wow, that's a lot of barking. Oh my god. Oh fuck me. Are they going around? Oh shit. That's a lot of dogs around here. This whole place run by dogs? Just hoping they can't find their way to me. Another one there. There. At least they're just dogs. Like normal dogs. Not the mega dogs. <laughs> uh, I could have lockpicked it. I already used it. I can barricade it. That's funny. Yeah, I don't have a lockpick, so I'm kind of screwed. And I didn't pick up enough for it, right? No. There's a whining dog. Are they? I think they're barricaded in. They may not be able to get out, and I'm not really in a hurry to fix that. I see nothing in there. Can I jump the fence? No. Oh, he's alive. He's just lying on the ground and crying to himself. Like the first dog from the prologue, the one the doctor put out. Maybe they're trapped in there? They never came after me the way that it looked like they were going to. Oh, there's mushrooms in there. Uh-oh. No. No. Bad. Oh, no. Don't make me mass kill dogs. Oh, shit. As I, as I like, rapidly skin them and take their meat, like I'm playing Mega Far Cry or something. Was there a hole here? What was it? There must have been a hole in the fence, right? That they were getting out through? They were getting out somewhere. They must have dug under the fence. you can while you can. God damn, my armor's already half broken. No. Need a key? Am I gonna be held back purely because I didn't bring- a I used it my lockpick? Is that gonna be my fatal mistake? For today's run? What is this place? Huge, so it seems important. Well, I can reach where all the dogs were if I move those crates from earlier. Oh shit. God damn. They sneak up on me a bit. 
Just because of how line of sight works in this game. How did they get out? Like right here? Like this is fully blocked, right? Yeah. I think that, I think there's just a spot like right here-ish that they've been going through because they're dogs. I'm hearing barking, but I'm not seeing any dogs anymore. Just barely making this work. Alright, I'm in, kind of. I'm in a part of this place, whatever that really means for us. Maybe I'll find the key. Oh, there's a... Is that a pregnant pup? Is it a dog that's pregnant or is it like nightmare parasite bulge? It's whining, which is concerning. What a miserable location. From this camera distance, I don't know how to judge this. Pregnant dogs are not shaped like that. No, this is like a problem. Sorry. Pretty sure you had like a chomper or something inside you or something horrible. And no one's going to give you medical attention today. Okay, so at least I don't need the lockpick. The other ones are already... Okay, that one's also a mess. Jesus. Like, some of them are just sick and it might get better, but that one, the giant monstrosity one, was like, that's not going to improve. What are those? Oh, the bad dogs. Bad dogs. Oh, no. I mean, I've got to deal with them, right? Oh. Oh, it's the mushrooms. Jesus. Those ones are horrible. Yeah, no dog gets so giantly pregnant that it literally is like, its guts longer than its its legs. Okay, that this one's barricaded. Human remains, they look stuffed. What? Okay, that's... Uh, I don't know if I should be doing that. Christmas lights. Someone's been killing people and stuffing them, and I'm going in on purpose like a sane person would. Oh, it's the wolf man? Of course it is. Comrade. The greeting sounds like an angry growl. The wolf man makes a quick leap and, bouncing against me with his swollen belly, he puts his paws on my shoulders. His swollen belly? He ostentatiously licks his face. What a gift you have given me! I notice fresh bloodstains on his fur and feel streaks of his saliva dripping onto my coat. He leans towards me as if he wanted to say something to my ear. Do nothing. The wolf squeezes my arms and starts licking my face. Once from the left side, once from the right side. Comrade meat. 
His breath stinks of rot. What would I ever do without you? You're not such a worthless piece of carcass as you look. Thanks to you, I feel fulfilled. I got my girl, my sweet little lady, back. Hard to believe the same blood flows through the veins of that bitch, of, of the bitch who reeks of chickens. Suddenly, the wolf sends me back with a powerful push and reaches into my coat pocket, his coat pocket. Some object hits the floor. Here, no need to thank me. Now, since the, that part of the deal is behind us, I'll help you recover your stupid key. I will take you back to the doctor's house. I'm sure you will find some clues on how to reach his current hideout while there. You two will have a little chat. You will get back what you've lost, and then nothing will keep you from getting the fuck out of my part of the woods. Do you get me, Meat? You will pack your bags, dive into that stinking hole of yours, and dis a fucking peer. And? Are we going, comrade? Oh shit, now? Shake head? Good. But remember, the woods are impatient. So, uh, so I can go... I can go straight to the doctor's house from him. That's terrifying. Alright. Show item. A twisted key? Give it to me! The wolf snatches the box and key from my hands. Muttering under his breath, he attempts to open the box. After a while, the lid gently slide... slids open. There was also a typo with Will earlier, it was 1L. And the wolf peeks inside carefully, squinting his eyes. He looks at the contents in silence, then lifts his gaze at me. Is this a fucking joke? Are you some sort of fucking clown or something? Ah! The wolf takes out a few scrumbled pieces of paper from the box and throws them in my face. As they fall to the ground, I notice a shiny stone among them. Some fucking scribbles, I'm warning you, meat. Do not dare waste my time again. Sorry? Next? Oh, it says next because you can go through pages. Does that say plane? Is that supposed to be what a plane's drawn, drawn like? Or is that a bird? Or weird. So, happy family in the forest. They got a, a dog, I guess, is what that drawing's of. Okay, next. The dog eats mushrooms. Nasty red mushrooms. That guy's arm bleeding? Did dad's... Oh. What? I think the dog ate the mushroom, got violent, bit the dad's arm, then the dad shot the dog and buried it? He's destroying the... The entire house, playhouse or something? Their house burns down and their house is, is frowny faced. They run, a, they run away as their house burns. And seems to be a lot of drawings of different people having in line while having maybe having problems. I think they're in line for the doctor. I think this, that looks like a doctor. Those two are sad. Like, is that in a hole with all the corpses? Jesus. That doesn't that doesn't say a happy story. Electronic game. What the fuck is this? Do you think this is funny? Are you mocking me? Do I look like a joke to you? Uh... Nod. <laughs> You're a brave piece of meat. And what's more important, one with a sense of humor. Where'd you find this? The wolf carefully studies the toy. An electronic game, huh? But a wolf stealing chicken eggs. <laughs> Good one. I have, a stop I have a soft spot for games. How about you? I can give you something in exchange meat. What would you say to... A surprise, eh? Nod? Oh god, we got a pistol. That's worth something. A wise decision. Take this. The wolf produces a gun from his pocket, throws it under my feet, and then turns the game on. Oh, he's... he's <laughs> so he's... Okay. So first of all, I got the girl for him, which I think he ate her, because he's got a bulging gut, apparently, and he's covered in blood, which we haven't seen yet, but who knows. And now he's just, like... Piddling away with a video game about a wolf cheese stealing eggs. This is these characters are colorful, I suppose. Ah, uh, there's the trophy. 
A trophy with a human head. Might be a lot of human heads around here. Oh, well, there she is. A half-eaten body of a deformed woman. Yep, she ate- she- he- not only did she- did he eat her- I think he's continually eating her. The blood-soaked shawl. Should I take that back to the... family or something? Yep, so she died because of what I did. On the bright side, uh, the wolfman likes me, seemingly. Which is probably good for my survival chances. A hunting rifle and a shiny stone. Unfortunately, I have, like, severe inventory problems right now. Put the wooden logs down. I want- uh, damn it, I meant to pick up the sh stone. Yes, mate. Trade. What was the item I needed? I need, I need pliers. Chain. Shit. I don't see pliers. That's not great luck for me. There's the meat. Oh, my odd meat's getting ready to expire. It's not going to last till I get back. I should sell that. I don't want this shit meat. Never mind. Um... Shiny stone. You'll buy the stone, right? I need to be choosy about what I keep in my inventory because I'm going to run out of space. Regular pills. I mean, stamina pills specifically. Got a few magazines. But I should buy whatever I can from him. Otherwise... I don't know if I'll even see him again. Past whatever I'm about to do, at least. I could go to the doctor's place. I'm just a little concerned about whether or not time will pass. When you do, when you're in story locations, time often, often pa uh, pauses. And that might happen for the next thing too if I go there now. And if I go there now, that 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 could certainly help fast forward the story. All right, that's probably kind of a reasonable trade. Getting another glass bottle, some ammo, flare, nails, whatnot. Offloading some excess meat because it's just filling up my inventory. Try to make this work, I suppose. So, I, so well, since I knew, since I know time pauses when you talk to this guy, I went off and had dinner and thought about it. So I'm trying to think about what the hell to do next, because every action, every action matters in this game. So like having the game pause for a while is like a good time to think about what to do next. If I leave, I am doomed to going back to the base. Just so I can then come back here again to go to the doctor's place. Whereas the doctor's place itself, like, it's probably a plot location where time pauses. Which is a reoccurring thing. It felt like a super special case for the, uh... Let's see, was it, like, time paused, I believe, in the town and in the well. And then I think it even paused in the church, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure. So it'll probably pause here, because we're leaving the map, and the day-night cycle screws with the ability to do story locations. So I can probably safely continue. The biggest gamble I'm doing is, uh, whether or not, I have the, whether or not there's going to be a lot of inventory-intensive stuff there, I suppose, and that's a concern, but... Even if it involves losing out on, on resources, it's probably best if I just go for it right now and commit to it, because if I leave and go back to my base, I have to defend for another night, which is also a form of losing resources, also I can come back. So like, the process of not going for this right away will also cost me time, uh, money and resources and stuff. Because we're, we're very much at the part where the longer I play, the more trouble I get into. And I don't think you can... I think you usually probably can't even recoup the losses of defending your base, uh, with the 200 rep you get at the trader every day, that probably isn't enough to fully repair all the damage that gets done half the time anyway. 
So we're, we're only going to be trending downward from here. So I think I need to press the story forward and hope that it's a time paused location and that I'm equipped to handle it. Which I have, uh, I have four magazines, I have a plank of wood, a shovel, four pieces of bread, three pills. I can probably defend myself. Two Molotovs. Let's put the Molotovs on instead of the... No, not that. I need to manually drag it over. You can't do that when you're in the store. It's fine. Uh, first of all, let's grab my stuff. There we go. Yes, meat. God, the wood fills up my inventory all the way. Well, I need to have the hunting rifle, although it is worth 400. Which, by the way, holy shit. 400. <laughs> um, that's a lot. He doesn't sell ammo, does he? You're an arms dealer and you don't sell bullets? I mean, he sells- he sold me one magazine for a small caliber weapon. But he doesn't sell bullets for the gun he gave me? Weird. Maybe he just doesn't want me to have- be armed around him with that gun, because then I could use it against him. Anyway. I think I'm gonna go for it. I were going to the doctor's house. Yep. So I don't talk. I clearly just nod or shake head and those are my options. Good. Okay. It's 1546 and it's not changing. My map doesn't work. So if we're going to the doctor's place, is that going to be the same as the prologue? I'm not sure if I should expect enemies, so I'm trying to be careful here. Uh-oh. A few familiarities. Didn't I find this... Did I find this as the doctor? Dead Chomper. What? Wait. Wait, where am I? Wait, it's 9.48? Wait. What's... What's... What's happening? Wait, it's 10? Does the rooster mean that it's the morning? Wait, I thought time was paused a moment ago. What does the yellow mean? Ten ten? I can't do that now. What? The fuck? What? I, that was really confusing. Did I just go... Did going south of the gate make me go back into the normal map, I guess? So north of the gate is the doctor's house, south of the gate is the normal world, I guess. So time was passing, but it was the morning? So it's like I didn't... How do we get to the morning? I heard a rooster crow, so I think that means it's the morning. Let's make myself another ban a normal bandage real quick. Haven't had so much access to those for a while. So, yeah, I freaked out when I looked at the camera, and, I mean at the watch in the corner and realized that the time was passing in game. I'm like, oh shit, what? But it wasn't passing a moment ago. I guess going south was a mistake. But I 
It had a weird green transition when I went north again back to here, but I feel like that wasn't there when I w went this way in the first place from south. It's a giant ravine. That was weird. I don't know. I'd have to rewatch my own footage to retrace what the hell I just saw. There's a well. Need a key. Is this the forest ter like tearing the literal like land apart at this point? There's a rope if I wanted to put it somewhere. It's technically worth 20, so it's technically worth more than the logs, I guess. Oh, you know what it's worth more than is that, uh... That mushroom that just rotted. My stuff's going bad from being in my inventory for too long. Long day, I guess. No room in inventory. Fortunately, I kind of need to do this. There we go. I'll make a bandage with alcohol. Make it a little better. Let's just get rid of the logs. I'd rather have the wires. Time's still not passing. So it must have just been a quirk of going south. We're getting sounds from inside the building. A plain countryside bed. The metal buckles of the leather straps fastened to the bottom of the bed are twisted and broken. Is, this, is that the guy that's breathing? Is he chained down? He's missing an arm and his shin. And he's restrained. And that seems to be how he's breathing. Jesus. Is this what the doctor's been doing? Wow. Where is the doctor? Where? Daddy went out and left. Angry and hungry he was. I'm hungry too. Can't move. Head is exploding. And if I move, I'll burst myself. Oh shit, he's transforming into a chomper. Did that stop it? Dead madman. Rusty key. Are these guys even alive? I think the breathing was coming from that guy. A partially decomposed corpse. The left hand has been bitten off together with the arm. Jesus. Is this where the chompers were coming from? Is the doctor making the chompers? Because fuck that guy then. I'm gonna see if the door opens the... If the key opens the door I saw before. Nope, he's dead too. That stuff's intensely fucked up. His, he's right. He was writhing in place, talking about his head exploding, and now he can't move or it'll explode. And his head was splitting in half because of the uh, the chomper bit. That was what the key was for. Son of a bitch! That's an axe. Uh, what should I drop? Not the wire. 
I don't think I had, I don't know if I have use for a rope. And I do still have a rope regardless. Fuck, I got an axe. I don't have to make it? God damn it, I was investing resources in making that axe and now I just find it. Scrap metal, bread. The odd stone seems kind of important, but my inventory is all full. Damn it. At least time's not passing, so I'm not making these decisions in super stressful situations. Um, don't I have more batteries at the base? Reload. There we go. I'll take the odd stone over the batteries. Okay, so I've got an odd stone. I've got a fucking axe. Boom. Boom. That's nice. How much does the quick one in the use? God, three pips. What, should I just sell off the fucking axe head I bought? That was expensive, damn it. And I just find one. Shit. Although admittedly the entire currency system is getting less and less valuable lately because the stuff that people sell isn't really game-changing for me. It's like, oh, maybe I'll get a few more nails. And stuff like that. So I think I'm getting de detached from the economy a bit in this game. And it's time to just keep progressing forward as opposed to dealing with resources so much. Just grab what I need to survive and fight. There's a generator. I'd rather have lights on than off, I suppose, but there's downsides. What the fuck? Ice? Dude has ice? Ice and fingers. That's a lot of ice. The hell do you do with ice? And then meats, but unless he has a cooking station in here, I can't use, do anything with it. There's a body. Can't see shit over there. I know him. My character knows that guy? Did I fight him as the doctor? I think I did. Oh yeah, this is the, this is the doctor's house. Huge empty cages. Yeah, I was here at the beginning of the game. This is the prologue location. A safe locked with a code. I need a code. That's the dog we had to kill in the prologue. Even the wood is still here. Stack up what you can. What am I looking at? Um... I... Th I think the thing going zoom down the middle is a tree that's like bent over and falling over and collapsed and then there's like a creepy body crouching under it or something. Is that one nine two or one seven two or one two zero? I don't know if this is a number or not. Maybe it's one two zero six eight five. That's the wrong number of digits, isn't it? Yeah, I need four digits. Creepy. No. Oh my. Well, looky what we have here. If nothing else, it's a... Uh... Oh shit. What causes that to happen? 
Sometimes I'll hear someone walking around, but it just sounds exactly like me. Is the game just fucking with me? Because it keeps happening and there's always, like, nothing there. Maybe my character just makes idle noise sometimes? Uh, mushrooms are rotten. It was gonna happen unless I found a spot. Grab those bottles. Main thing is I can get one more pill if I want to. I might as well just use them. Probably not coming back here because it's a story location. So I might as well just use it then. Stack up my gas if I can. Do I have garbage to get rid of? I mean, the gas can's not hard to come by. I'm not really... I don't really need to desperately cling to this half gas with what I have. It is very bright in here with that light on. That trips me out how everything moves when you look around. Like, the bed's in the middle of the room right there, and there's a few posters in the bottom left corner. And then, zoom. Everything completely changes location when you look at it directly. It's happening again, look at that. It's just a desk in the middle of a room with some tarps and then, zoom, completely different room. Is that what it looked like when I, f is, is it showing me what this area looked like when I first got here at the beginning of the game? And then how much it's changed? Uh, the desk is turned, is turned over. Another odd stone. Two odd stones, what are they for? Uh, they seem important so I don't want to throw them away. But the scrap metal... Scrap metal or bread. I've been healing lately so I think I want to keep my bread over the scrap metal. But I could also get rid of the wire, but I'm so close to getting my next lockpick. I'll do the scrap metal, I think. Two odd stones. I have no idea what they're for besides maybe being valuable, or maybe you use them for something. 